Hello and welcome to the course on Introduction to 3D Secure and 3D Secure 2.0. In this course, we are going to talk about what is 3D Secure, what are different steps in 3D Secure, and how is 3D Secure and PSD2 in European Union are interlinked with each other. I'm sure now you might be asking, what exactly is this 3D Secure? So just to give an overview, we'll talk about 3D Secure in detail into the course. But just to give an overview, it is a page you get whenever you are trying to make an online payment. For example, we have gone to an e-commerce website and you're trying to make a payment using your debit credit card or any kind of digital payment tools just before authenticating the payment you get redirected to a page which could be verified by visa mastercard secure or say if you're using american express then safe key page so that page is called 3d secure so we will talk about what it is i'm sure that you might be thinking that itself just a page on which you enter all the details like your otp your pin number and the transaction is done that is not how it works that page itself and that system itself collects a lot of data. In fact, in 3D Secure 2.0, the system collects around 150 data points to make sure that the transaction that you are doing through a you know, on an e-commerce website is secured. So in this course, we are also going to talk about what are those data points. I'm definitely not going to cover the entire 150 data points, but from Mastercard's website, we'll talk about what are those secure data points which ensures that the transactions are secure and nobody is doing a fraud transaction using your debit or credit cards. We are also going to talk about what is liability shift in 3D Secure and why it is important, what does it mean and how does it help merchant and the entire ecosystem. Then we are also going to talk about the 3D Secure transaction flow and how it impacts digital payments. So in this course, we are going to talk more about 3D Secure. We will talk about different aspects of it, how it helps to reduce the fraud into the digital transactions and all other aspects of 3D Secure. But before you decide to go into this course, uh, there is a disclaimer that this course is not a technical or integration kind of a course. This is for business people. This is for those people who want to understand what is 3D Secure, those who are into this business but want to understand the logic behind the technology. So we are not going to talk about the technology and the integrations and codings and all. What we are going to talk about is the logic behind 3D Secure and the business rules and the business impact of 3D Secure on different stakeholders of the ecosystem. I am so much excited to see you inside the course. Till the time, take care and see you there. Thank you.